my real fear is that they're going to invent a better eye for blind people. Mm. And when they do, they're like, look how amazing this is. We've given blind people the ability to see again. And Optical but, zoom. But now they also have all these other features that you don't have with your regular eyes. So let us scoop those bad boys out <laughs> and put some fucking Give killer some robot eyes. Binocular eyes. I'm, I'm a little worried about that. Yeah. Like, realistically worried about that. It came, huh. it came from, we were watching this video once where there was a guy who got his arm and his leg bit off by sharks. Mm-hmm. He got uh, attacked by a shark when he's surfing. So he had this carbon fiber hand that t- totally articulates like a real hand. And yeah. he's standing there with his, from his knee down was an artificial leg. And he was walking around and moving like a regular person. I was like, look at this guy. This is incredible. I'm like, he's kind of a bionic guy. Because yeah. his hand was moving around. He could shake your hand. And he, he seemed so normal. Hmm. And I'm like, what if it gets like many, many generations better than this where it has, like Luke Skywalker, when he got his hand chopped off by Darth Vader. Remember, he got that robot hand and he there's people. Up. There's people working on this every day, so yeah. I kind of figure we're headed in that direction. Where like, what's this, Jamie? So I just googled something. It's not out <clears throat> yet. It's this is called Immacula, which is a AR lens that you wear with uh, sunglasses. So in in together, they make an AR situation. Oh, so with you the have glasses. A lens as a contact and then sunglasses. Yeah, showed the picture that they. Uh, Hmm. This is what they say they got. So, yeah. Uh, what is Immacula? Oh, sorry. Here's the. Oh. So you have a lens here, and yeah. these glasses go over top. Look at that creepy dude. <laughs> wow, what a picture! But it's not out yet. It's just this. You can invest in it. So it's more. It's like how Magic Leap was about a year, year and a half ago. Like I'm not invested in anything that uses this guy as their cover boy. What's up with his <laughs> face, man? It's a fucking robot, man. He's that, an alien. He looks like the guy from uh, yeah. Men in Black. <laughs> Remember when the yeah. alien put the skin on? <laughs> Remember? That's what he looks like. Edgar. Something wrong with the left side of his face, man. He's wearing someone's skin. <laughs> That's a weird system. So a lens in a contact. Yeah, so the battery wow. might be in the glasses. In the glasses. And it's yeah. working, and I don't know how it's connected, but... Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, we this is... Who knows what this is, It's also right? very, very new. And Here's the other thing. Different. I don't need the information that fast, that bad. I'm right. okay with the one-second delay of picking up my phone and checking it. Instead yeah. of, because like, what are you getting with? You saw the note, the examples were like incoming call, the weather, your emails, things like that. Like information you can already get in two seconds by just, yep, I have an incoming call, I have an email, I have a text. Like that's yeah. pretty quick. Pretty quick. And I've I've said this before, where someone is asking me like, are we at like the final form of smartphones? Like where are they going to go? Are they going to get bigger? Are they going to get smaller? Are they going to be implanted in you? I think smartphones are at like pretty much their final form. We're going to keep evolving the insides of smartphones to be better. They're going to get faster. They're going to get more and more transparent, whatever. They'll get like more interesting looking. But I think it's always going to be a thing I pick up and use and then put back down. Mm. I think that's where we're at for a while. 